Hi friends. I'm going to catch up on some videos tonight. Right before Christmas I did a whole lot of crafting and did not have time with the business of the holidays to do any videos on them. Luckily several of them were gifts for my girls so I took them all back tonight from them so that I could show you what I made. But this first video is going to be on a planner that I was working on. It's not completely finished yet but you'll get the idea what I did. This is based on a YouTube video and an idea that Shannon Green had done uh, for her planner. So taking learning from what she had done, I did a lot of techniques I had never done before. First off, Shannon had painted on some magazine or catalog pages, and I had never done that before. I used an Apologia catalog, which is a catalog for homeschoolers. The pages are very thick and sturdy. I pulled the staples out and ended up with these very large sheets of paper to work with. And I have a bunch of them left, which is great, and I will for sure be saving these catalogs from now on. Once I got those all done, um, one of them I had just gessoed and painted. That I used for the spine of the planner. This one I had decoupaged some book pages on, and then did some painting over top of that, kept it real basic, and I really liked the way it turned out. I know that Shannon, when she had done her covers, she had um, ended up putting some uh, fabric in the middle, I think it was a sheet or something, and fused it in there to make her stronger. But by the time I uh, decoupaged this and glued two of these sheets together, it was very strong and I didn't think I needed to do that. So I ended up with a front cover, a back cover, and this is the extra piece because those pages are so large. So this is the planner, um, the front cover, back cover, and the accordion spine. And this was also made with the book pages, but these are just ones that I had painted. I sewed the front and back cover onto the spine. And then um, inside, I will show you. Like I said, this is all, um, Shannon Green has a video on her YouTube channel, which I highly recommend watching because mine did not turn out as perfect as hers did. But I like the way it turned out and it's perfect for what I'll use it for. So inside, um, I had sewed some signatures that were just weekly calendar and I printed some like note page on the back so I had places for notes. I did sew them together. The outside of the signature is some uh, just decorative paper. Then each month has a fold out calendar and that calendar is glued to the back decorative paper of each signature. Then the signatures are attached to the accordion binding. I had, um, I used washi tape like she did, but on the top edge of each of these, um, the mountain fold, I put a little strip of double-sided tape and then kind of pushed the signature to it and then washi taped it for just some extra support because I didn't know if the washi tape would hold or not. And so far it's doing great. Um, so I have every month, the month stamped so far and it unfolds just like hers does, which I think is a lot of fun and worked out really great. I do not have all my dates stamped yet. I think I got to March. Luckily I have a lot of variety of number stamps, so I'm trying to do, you know, a variety of those, not have it all be the same. Then in the back, I added two extra uh, folds to my spine so that I could have two signatures of just some pages where I can keep notes. And that is, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And thank you, Shannon Green, for um, posting your video and letting people learn from what you did. Um, I had never done any of this project, so I learned a lot by doing it. And um, looking forward to me making another one. So thanks all. Have a good evening.